Hi YouTube, I'm Alan Sugano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group and today's topic is about the uh, patch that Microsoft released, I believe it was in November of 2022 on Patch Tuesday, which basically broke Kerberos authentication. So uh, the backstory here, now there's an emergency patch that Microsoft released to patch the patch to fix the thing that broke. Um, we had a client that actually got hit with this where nobody could log in and this was before they released the patch. Uh, obviously, the, the path of least resistance is to install the out-of-band patch that addresses the Kerberos authentication issue. However, if for some reason you can install this patch, we did come around with the emergency workaround even before the patch was released. And it worked for, you know, your mileage may vary, but this has worked for this particular client. So this particular client had like a few uh, terminal servers and nobody could log in the terminal server, which was obviously problematic because we had a lot of people working remotely. So what we ended up doing after doing some more troubleshooting is we, um, the, the thing that fixed this particular problem is we made sure we knew the local administrator password. And then we left the domain, left the domain and joined a work group, uh, shut down the computer, then went into Active Directory users and computers, deleted the computer account that we just, that just left the domain, then started up the computer, rejoined the domain, which then created a new account, a computer account in Active Directory, and then once we did that, um, everybody was able to log in. So it, it did some refreshing with the, the SID, the security identifiers in Active Directory, and it kind of fixed this particular problem. In this case, it was viable. It was, it was um, practical to do it because they only had like two terminal servers. So we only had to do it twice. And I'm like, okay, and it fixed, you know, 50 users. I'm like, cool. Um, so that would be... That would be one potential fix if you can't get the uh, emergency uh, fix on. If not, and uh, but the the obvious thing to do now, since they do have the fix out, is to install the fix. I'll put a link here to uh, a bleeping computer website that has a link to all the different fixes for the patch, uh, the Kerberos fix, uh, depending on what version of Windows Server you're running. So anyway, if you've run into this, um, you know, you may obviously install the patch sooner than later if you installed the Kerberos fix with the November 2022 updates, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to resolve this issue. Uh, that's our tip of the week. If you like this content, please boink, hit the subscribe button, boink, hit the like button. It does help out the channel. Uh, thanks a lot for listening. Hopefully this helps you out, and uh, stay safe out there. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.